Good morning, good afternoon, good night to everyone around the world. How are y'all doing today? I'm your favorite friendly neighborhood beard bro. Mr. Kennedy. If you love wrestling, Evil, but if you love wrestling, as I'm sure a lot of people do. Kennedy! Kennedy! How are y'all doing today? First off, before we get going here, if you guys did not get a chance to catch episode 16 of the Hot Takes podcast with myself and Kelsey Fearless yesterday, we are live on all of these platforms now. We are up there on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Samsung Podcast, Pandora, Podchaser, Speaker, Amazon Music, YouTube, and Twitch. So um, there's no reason why you can't catch us. We got a, a Q&A going on there, which was a lot of fun. We asked each other questions. A lot of Microsoft news as always. And you guys will have fun. It's a fun listen. Anyways, though, we are playing. We're playing some more uh, them and us. Of course, on pro mode. And we're really going to go at it this time. <laughs> because... Yo, the last time I was just experimenting just to see, you know, because I'm still pretty damn new to this game. But we're really going to do a, a actual playthrough. I beat this game on hardcore mode, so we're going pro. Because that's what I do, folks. Do you expect anything else of me? Weird ass music coming out of that boombox. We can't even do nothing with that. Now this game has, you know, like, um, like Silent Hill, it has multiple endings, and I only got one. I think I got the neutral ending, I think it was. So there's, there's good endings, there's bad endings. We're definitely going to try to uh, try to get as many of the endings as we possibly can. Hmm? Let me know if uh, if the game is too loud for you guys. I turned it down halfway, so. What is this place? Nobody knows. All right, so let's go. Now I'm pro mode. You only have two spaces right now, so you got to work with what you got. Not too bad. Um, it could be that. She has different outfits that you can wear. I like this one. All right. Now, I do know what to do, because like I said, I beat this on hardcore mode, but I was just practicing on stream just to see if it worked right. And everything and to, to gauge if you guys would like to see me play this or not but I really like this game this is that old school rest and evil feel Silent Hill feel I've never seen somebody unlock a door with a screwdriver but we'll go with that Meet our first zombie here. The good thing is you can skip a lot of the animations, like I said. Get out of here, dude. The hell you want? Now the cool thing about this game is that it has like four different ways that you can play. I like the over the shoulder, that's always been my thing. But they do have FPS, first person. 
and then they do have um they have face camera angles and they have tank controls if that's what you guys want to play so you know so there's there's plenty of different ways that you can play this game Now this guy, like this guy in the bathroom, like he, he's a pain in the ass. So I might just take a hit, you know, just take a hit from him and just grab the key and get out. Because um, he's, he's a pain in the ass to try to get past. So if we get past him, we get past him. slip outside and drop this uh drop this lighter and you only you only have to deal with a few spaces you only have to deal with a few spaces until you get the backpack which is not that long from now so yeah there's no way i can slip past this guy man yeah see he's gonna get you get out just get out I'd rather just take the hit. It's not even worth it, to be honest. And we'll just heal. Fine. Because there's no way that you can slip past that guy without getting hurt. I've tried over and over and over again. Even with controller. He just grabs you no matter what. Yeah, you can skip her animations so you don't have to sit through her pushing that thing slowly. And this is where we'll get the rest of our inventory. All right. So now we got six spots as it should be. Now we're going to have to try to slip past this zombie without getting caught. Where is he? He's over there. Okay. Gonna have to slip past him. I'm gonna have to try to make him lunge for me and then go past him. Come on. Yeah, see this? It's always weird to make them. I don't know how to do it, but you know, you gotta get lucky. Come on. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to do it. I'm probably going to get caught by this guy. And be limping. Come on, dude. There we go. That's what we needed to do. Make him lunge. Once they get stuck in that animation, you can slip past him. Which I, I can't do with the... Uh, I can't do with that guy in the bathroom. I just can't do it. I've tried, trust me. And even with this guy, he's iffy. There we go. Yeah, you just have to be, gotta make him lunge. handgun ammo. We're gonna go get the handgun after we get the flashlight. Now this girl's name is Alicia. I'm not gonna tell you anything about her because I want y'all to experience the story. So no, uh, there won't be any spoilers.
I just want to pick up that other handgun ammo there. Alright, now let's go and get the handgun. Because it's oh so, so great. Let me push this down there. And push this over. A la Resident Evil 1. And we broke that. And now we can go down and get the handgun. Now I'm going to try to conserve as much ammo as I possibly can. I'm going to try to go for their legs. Now, you can shoot, you can shoot their legs off, but it's iffy. Like, it's, it's very iffy. Yeah. If they're, like, if they're, if they're, like, running towards you, like, it's hard, it's hard for me to shoot their leg off. I find it easier at, at, at a distance. That's what we need to do. And then we'll just knife them. Simple as that. See? Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Like, it won't happen. I'm shooting them in the same spot. Look at that, man. Like, come on. There we go. It took long enough. Then we'll just knife them. That's how, this is how I'm going to be killing most of the zombies. Just by popping their leg and then knifing them. Saves ammo. Alright, there's another zombie right there. There should be two. Yeah, these big guys. There we go. Sometimes it takes a little bit for their leg to come off. There's another guy over there. Got him. Yeah, that's not how we're going to be doing that. Otherwise, they'll be wasting like seven bullets trying to kill these guys. Because, of course, on pro mode, they're, they're strong as hell. So. So we killed all the zombies in the hall here. Leave this here. We'll come back for that. Is there another zombie? Oh, there is another zombie. I didn't see that guy. Yeah, sometimes... Like, sometimes it doesn't work. But, yeah. Yeah, his, his legs are freaking, freaking strong as hell, man. Alright, well, we just killed him the old-fashioned way then. Alright. Grab that. We got a zombie that's here. Try to get his leg off. Yep. Good. If you don't go near the window, those guys won't come in here anyway, so just kill this guy and get him out of the way. Six forty. Yo, clock on the wall. Let's see, I think it's... Yeah, it is 640. So... Is it not? Yeah, 640. All right. We're going to have two zombies out here. One over there. Alright, get his leg. There's another guy behind us. Yep, that's what we needed. 
Don't worry, we'll get more ammo. I just want to get these guys out of the way. Alright. He's dead. Use the lighter. So give us another first aid. I'm going to drop this in the room. In one of the save rooms. So when I need it. I can go and grab it. At least until we can get the portal open. This place is crawling with zombies. I'm not worried about them right now. This is a save room. Drop this here. We'll leave the lighter too. Because we're going to have to come back for it later. Do my first save. So I don't have to go through that again. There is a another key out here. Right here. And there's also some handgun ammo. Alright. Now I'm gonna pop like I think I'm just gonna pop like two of these guys' legs. If I can. There we go. That's one, two, actually, you know what, we might do all of them, because I know that there's, there's ammo up there. I just want to get, get all three of them down. Don't worry, they can't, they can't open the door, so not like that. I don't think they can open a door anyway. A lady zombie right here. Get her out of the way. There's more ammo here. Die. Alright, get the small key over here. Because we're going to need that. This guy has ammo on him. Now, if you're going to play this game, one thing you should not do, do not, like, if you're finding someone, do not reload while you're finding someone because you see how she walks. When she does that, that's not good. And when you got zombies lunging after you in pro mode, you're going to have, you're going to have to reload the old fashioned way. Got him. All right, we're not going to kill these guys. We're just going to pop their legs so they're out of the way. I just want them out of the way. Yeah, but when, when you got zombies that free and run after you like that, don't reload like that. that that's really dumb. Don't need this right now. Um, wait a minute, I didn't get the key. My bad. Um, I don't think I put the cog in the clock to get the key. I need that key. Which is right here. There we go. We need that. We also need to come up here. Is, did I get that zombie? Yes, I did. Okay, he came down the stairs. There's a uh, there's more ammo up here as well too. See, some of these guys like their legs are freaking, freaking. There we go, Teflon. Holy crap, dude. And then we could just knife him. Kill all these guys that way. Hacked off the dude's arm. Dismemberment, folks. Oh my god. Where did he come from? 
Doesn't matter, you're gonna die like everybody else. I think he was behind a banister. He's behind the stairs. They can lunge at you like that. It doesn't really hurt that badly. But it's annoying. Just get him out of the way. Get him out of the way. I love how she just hacks their arms off, man. I love it. There's a cop zombie over there. We'll grab ammo off of him. We need this book. And then we'll get the uh, the statue head downstairs. Ammo. He's the only zombie left in here to kill, so it's not really that that bad. I'd rather have one zombie to kill than like seven. Alright, we need the we need the uh, statue. So I'm going to leave my knife here right now. I don't think we'll be killing any zombies anyways. And if, if we, I mean, I could just kneecap them and just run past them. It's really not that big a deal. We have to go back to the roof. Plus, we'll be getting some ammo over here anyway. So. Which I think I'll grab now. There's some ammo in here. Grab that. And then we're just using the small keys. Like, I'm just going to make a shortcut here. So I don't have to, so I don't have to run all the way the hell around. Okay. See, I like the drop feature. You know, you could drop items. There is a chest in this game, if, if you guys are wondering. There is a chest in the game. But you don't get it until you until you uh until you open the portal. Now this lady's a pain in the ass. She doesn't like her leg being knocked off. So we'll just kill her. There's another zombie over here. He doesn't like I mean he can lose his kneecap. Come on. Come on, no. Okay, well, then we'll just kill him. All right. I'm gonna knock these dogs here. Dogs are annoying in these types of games. I just want to get them out of the way. Because I can deal with the zombies down there. There we go. Get them out of the way. Yeah, the, the dogs here, they do, like, everything does a significant amount of damage anyways, because it's promo. So, you already take, like, it takes, like, two hits for you to die anyway. Right? So we got those two things. And we don't have to come back in here until we get the uh, the key to come back. So. Don't forget that that the zombie guy is out here. Yeah, sometimes he'll be like right there. So we got to lure him around. Yep. I wouldn't worry about killing that guy. Like, he, he literally, like, you can just get around him without wasting ammo. Okay. 
Now we gotta go back to the library. Which will go this way. Zombie here will just pop his leg. There we go. All right. And we got to use that gold key in here. So we got to grab this here. And then we get rid of the key. I'm going to leave the, uh, I'm going to leave this piece here. Because we don't have to use it yet until we get the, the lion head first. Which is, uh, in the courtyard. So, and the courtyard is right over here. Which is why I use the small key to unlock it. Makes life so much easier. Right here. This is where we need to go. Now, there's a bunch of zombies here. So, be careful. There's a bunch of them. There's one right there. There's one over there. But there's a decent amount of ammo, which is good. Do you want to go down? There. Thank you. All right. Now, where's, where's the other guy at? There is another dude. There's one right there. That cop zombie is going to get up as well, too. Yeah, this guy with his his legs are always kind of kind of iffy as well too. I don't know why. So we'll just come on, man. Yeah, he doesn't want to lose his leg. Oh well. All right, we'll kill him. We got two things of ammo out here. That cop zombie's gonna get up. Come on, man. Oh, my God. Yeah. You know, I hate when that happens, because sometimes... You know, sometimes his leg pops, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, see, like that, I think... I think it depends on the distance, too. Honestly. Yeah, I think it depends on the distance as well, too. Yeah. So pass them. Grab that. Grab the ammo out of this bar here. All right, and now we can get the hell out of here. So now we can go and use the, uh... The lion's, uh... I mean, uh, the wolf head that we left back there. Pop, we're gonna try to pop this guy's leg too. Come on, man. Yeah, it doesn't wanna work this time. Most of the time you can do it. Come on. All right, we'll just kill him. Whatever. Yeah, it works. It works like, I say about 80% of the time. And I hate wasting ammo like that. But what, what can you do? All right, so now we can go back to the library. Use the wolf's head. And 
I think I think we kneecapped that zombie up here, I believe. Yeah, I think we kneecapped this zombie. He's crawling around up here. Yep, there he is. I mean, there's, there's so many references to Resident Evil. Like, if you remember Resident Evil 1 and 2, which you should, now the pieces that I just put in was a wolf, a wolf statue head and a lion statue head. So yeah, you had the lion medallion and the wolf medallion. So that's a reference to that. It's just, it's crazy, man. You can you can tell that they got their inspiration, which is nothing wrong with that. Shoot, Resident Evil is a great series. Silent Hill is a great series as well too, and you'll see that later, like when you go to like the other world and stuff. It's insane, man. This is my knife. We're definitely gonna need that. Oh, I need the I need the lighter. So, gonna drop some stuff first. But I definitely need the lighter. Alright, this door is open. So, let's go back and, and get the lighter right in here. Because we're gonna need it to burn, burn some rope. Of course, this place is going to be crawling with zombies. And we got a, we got a, like a mini boss fight coming up. I'm praying, I'm hoping that I can pop these guys knees. Because you need, you need a lot of ammo to kill that guy. And yeah, see, he's going to be that guy. Uh, now you want to pop the leg. After wasting so much ammo to do so. Alright. That's one guy there. You. Come on now. Yo, that's... It's, it's very iffy, man. Because it's like... You know, it works when it wants to work. Put it that way. Yeah, see, like that? Like, why Why didn't it work? I was aiming at the same spot. And I wasted so much ammo. Um, We got a zombie here. And there's some ammo behind him. All right, good. I guess you just got to get lucky. There's also ammo on the other side. Got a zombie there. Great. All right. Get some healing here. Don't let that guy grab you. that other guy went. Yeah, we can't we can't waste too much ammo on these guys. Because we got the, the super zombie here coming up. So and we we gotta focus our our ammo on him. I'd rather have crawling zombies. And 
think, yeah, there's some ammo over there. It's right here. Yeah, we're gonna need it. This guy, like, you're just gonna have to keep running. You're just gonna have to keep running off shots in them when you can. Because he, he's gonna chase you. Yeah, he, he's gonna continue to do that. And he takes a lot of shots. And he does a ridiculous amount of damage. Every once in a while, like, he'll stop like that. And if you're far away, you can pop a couple of shots in him. I try to get at least one shot off on him before he gets close to me. I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, because, you yeah, know, with, with him running like that, he'll grab you. And it does a lot of damage. Like, I mean, it'll take you down to the red. And don't be careful not to get stuck on the thing and them uh them blocks there you'll get stuck on that that's why you keep seeing me like doing this because i got stuck on that shit before he'll go down eventually just keep popping shots on I just hate to burn through all my ammo because of this dude. Yeah, he, he takes a lot of freaking firepower, man. Come on, bro. Go down already. Yeah, I mean, we're burning through pretty much all of our ammo here. We got them now. Which is good. It's not the last time we'll see that guy. There is some handgun ammo out here. We'll get it. A second with some of these guys because I don't have the handgun ammo right now There's, there's more of them. There's still more zombies around here. That I didn't get. I'm not going to worry too much about those guys yet. Unless they get in my way.
That's where he hid that key. Um, I'm gonna have to kneecap this guy. Cause he, he's gonna be annoying. There's four zombies here. Yeah, I don't know if I'll have enough ammo at this part. Zombie there. There's another one over there. Like where he's at. And then there's two at the end here. There we go. Right. Now if we can get... There's a guy here around the corner here. He cap him. And then there's a guy at the end of the hall there. And there's some hang on ammo over there. Definitely gonna need that. Come on, man. See? There we go. Sometimes, like, it, it just takes multiple shots. Or it doesn't happen at all. Um. Crap. Um. I will leave this. Yeah, I don't have enough handgun ammo at all. It's not what I picked up. At least I know what that healing is. So, we have a first aid kit. You know what? I think I'm just going to get rid of these guys. And then I got that little bit of healing right there. But I'm just going to get rid of these dudes. It might be a problem later. Yeah, we have a whole bunch of zombies out here. Bullshit. He has one arm. Like, how's he going to lunge for it like that? And this is where we get access to the portal. This is where we get access to that, to our first portal. And this is where you get the, the storage box so you can store stuff. Get rid of this guy. Resident Evil 4. Laser puzzle. So many references, man. door. Here's our first portal here. So this is where we can store store our stuff. Yeah, I, I barely have any ammo when I tell you. I tell you. And we got zombies out here. Yeah, if I could kneecap them, because we, we got some dogs out here, and they're going to be a problem, too. I just want to kneecap these guys, and then we'll go get the shotgun. All right, that's, that's one there. Crap. Right. We'll come back for this. 
We got we got a dog down here and we got some zombies. And then we got three dogs. Um kill some of these guys. We got three uh two other dogs on the other side. Get him out of the way. Come on, man. Such bullshit. Come on, man. Get out of here. All right. And then we have... We still got two zombies on the other side. And then we have... Uh, yeah, we got one zombie there. We got two zombies down the stairs. And we got a couple of dogs. Kneecap this guy. It'd be nice if these cops drop some ammo. That would be nice. Oh, we got three zombies here. Damn. Oh, crap. Yeah, we almost got grabbed there. There's the shotgun right there. Which is good. I don't know what that door handle goes to. Like, I ran through the whole entire game. I ran through the whole entire game. And I still don't know where the hell that that knob goes to. It's it's weird. Come on, man. This is why I hate the dogs, man. They're such a pain in the ass, these dogs. handle here because I don't know what it's for yet I'm gonna go back and get the first aid just in case I need that because we got a um got a uh, another I guess you can say mini boss fight coming up and this, this dude is pretty annoying. And, yeah, I don't think I have a save here, do I? Um, where's the record at? Oh, yeah, I know where one is. Go back to the library real quick. And that record player is broken in there. So we'll grab that and then we'll do another save in the portal.
And then once I make that, once I make that save, I'm gonna take my first be right back, right? Got some good progress going on here. Nice to find some more ammo. That guy's just dead there. Nobody knows why. Portal here. And then we'll make our save. Now this, this is where you can store your items, like store it in a chest. So, you can store it here. Um, knife. We don't need that right now. But yeah, we're going to take our first be right back break. I'll be right back. I'm also going to run ads while I'm on break.
All right. We are back. Let's get back on it. Now, this part is going to be rough. Um, because we got, I believe, three dogs. Yeah, we, we got three dogs. And, and it's... Yeah, this is going to be a pain. If we can if we can somehow slip past the dogs, it shouldn't be that bad. But they lunge right for you. So it's like, I mean, gotta get lucky. That's I don't wanna waste ammo on these guys. We got uh what the hell? I don't remember putting that up there. Give me a second. Why is that up there? That down. Um Yeah, we got yeah, we got a freaking dog right there. Um, I forgot about him. Come on, man. I don't have the ammo to fight you, bro. We're gonna need we need our shotgun ammo. I can't cannot stress that enough. Bring in dog. There's another dog over there. Ah, this is the worst. I forgot about that guy. Oh god. Just run. Alright. good because we I don't want to waste any ammo on these guys we got rid of that we'll get another lighter later and gun ammo you know I think you get significantly less too in each clip that's all good and we got healing on us we should be all right this is like a mini boss fight This guy here. And this is where we're gonna go to the, the other world. This guy constantly runs at you. We just gotta wait for him to slow down. Just keep running around him. Yeah, we. I think we should have just enough ammo to take him down. Ah, he got us. Come on. That's the one thing about the shotgun I don't like. Is that the recoil slows her down. Like, she'll, she'll sit still. And then you can get hit by enemies. Got him. Alright. Now, this is where the sign of hell thing comes in. Like we're in a in another world somewhere. Uh, what? Uh. Now this, like I said, this is like another world thing that we're in here, with floating bones and pelvises and stuff. I don't know what the hell is going on there. Now, even though these guys are ethereal. These guys are ethereal, they can still hurt you. So you gotta be careful here. And they do they do a lot of damage. So we gotta find our way out of here. That's the objective. 
right? So we have... This is like holy water that we get. That stuff that we got off of them is essence. When you collect enough of that, like you can... When you're in the... Uh, when you're in the portal, like with the save, the save room in the chest, like you can use your essence to buy weapons early. Or if you happen to drop an item in, in an area that you can't go back to, you can pay to have it moved or like teleported to you, I guess you can say, with your essence. We're going to be using the, not now, but holy water is how you kill these monsters. Like you can knock them in the real world and then you throw holy water on them and then they give you spiritual essence. Look at the floating look at the flowing bones man like come on like imagine being in a world like that holy water here splash that on there and we just we got to find our way out of here and back into the real world these guys are here like i said even though they're invisible Even though they're invisible, they can still hurt you. So just be be aware of that. Lighter. Now this puzzle is confusing as hell. Because we're we're on of course we're on promo, so. Um Hold on. Let me see if I can do it, though. Did it before. Um, now you have to hold space in order to... In order to rotate stuff. Um, you have to hold space in order to, to rotate... the hell this part I forgot how to do this puzzle to be honest right okay so This one goes down here because it's that it's that symbol that we saw at the beginning of the thing here. And I remember taking forever with this, to be honest, because it, it's just. And I think this is wrong because some of these pieces are fake. Like this one, this one is fake. This is the one we need to get. And I believe it's, I think it's this, this way. All right. This one. One of these pieces are fake. Well, actually, a few of these pieces are fake. I believe. 
believe it's this one right here. That one is fake. On, on the uh, on hardcore mode, it's, it's not like that. Like you just have the six pieces you got to put in. And that's pretty much it. this way um, uh, hopefully that's it nope Looks like one of these pieces are fake. And I'm gonna have to look it up, man, because I'm not gonna go through all of this. Yeah, it looks like I got everything. Except for I think it's the middle piece. Yeah, because I'm not going to spend. I spent God knows how long on this shit. Um, for the longest. It's one of these. And this is not the only time you come back here either. What's the problem? What am I doing wrong here? It's got to do with this this centerpiece. What is the problem? This is the symbol, which is what I set up. Um, I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. Um, all right, so this piece, this is the real one. That goes there. This is the... This one goes here. Come on, man. I keep hitting the reset button because R is like right next, right next to the, uh, the, um, action button. So a lot of times because I have big ass hands, yeah, I hit the reset button by accident. Um, let's see this one, this one, yeah, that's right there. That's what I had. 
I had this whole symbol out unless I got a couple of fake pieces. Which is probably what it was. Yeah, that's the one that I had, right? I had the I had the whole thing here. What's the deal? This one. Yeah, I did everything. Everything I was supposed to do here. That's weird, man. Um, let's see. This one. Careful not to hit the reset button. All right. So, and this one, this one goes up top here. Yeah, that's where I had it before, so what the heck happened? You messing with me, game. Okay. I think I had one of the pieces that were fake. That's what the issue was. I think the first time I spent like a good three and almost 45 minutes trying to do that puzzle. It is a pain in the ass, folks. All right. And now we got the green holy water. Watch out for that guy there. They can hit you when you're going through the portal. So be careful with that. All right. I'm going to go refill my... My blue holy water. And then we're going to have a puzzle we have to do. Now, I only know the red one, but there's a whole bunch of them. I just don't know how to get back in there into this world yet. There's still so much I have to learn. Like I said, this game has about five endings. So. We barely got any ammo. Any. You know, I, I dig this. I like the fact that they took you out of the element. You start in some in a mansion. And then you somehow end up in, in the afterlife somewhere or wherever the hell this is. Some astral plane or whatever the hell. Who knows? I'm just going to slip past these guys. Now, they can hit you when you're doing the holy water thing. So we're going to have to lure them away. Because it's some cheap ass, it's some cheap ass crap that they do. Like they can still hit you when you're throwing the holy water. So we got to get them to stop. I don't know how. And we might have to just take a hit. Because what can we do? You know? I 
Uh, we gotta get them to stop. But at least they're running together, though. At least. Can y'all stop chasing me, bro? Seriously. Nope, they're just gonna chase you. Yeah, see, I don't want to get hit. Cause one hit, one hit is gonna is gonna take me down to danger with these guys. And it's like I don't have no healing, so. Come on, come on. Oh, snap. Oh, man. Because, yeah, sometimes they can hit you with that crap and it's bullshit. And if you're on danger mode and you're limping, you're in trouble, man. Because they run way faster than you. All right. And we got a, another puzzle here. Now... I do, I do remember this one. This, I think. Uh, no, see, we got that wrong. Um. Hold on. It's one of these things like where the uh it's outwards. We'll get it. set this bastard on fire and now we can get the hell out of here now I don't know about these other ones here like I don't know how to get in here or the other ones but we'll worry about that later and now we can get the hell out of here We're not, we're not in too bad a shape. Let's not forget that we got dogs running around out there. And they could easily take all my health away. And right, now we can get the hell out of here. I like this. You know, I like, you know the different setting here. You know, you're in this you're in this this plane, this astral plane somewhere. Let 
We should be good here. Now we can get the hell out. Go. Yep. And now we end up back in the real world. Should be good here. We barely have any ammo. We don't have any healing. And we should come out the other side here. Now, again, we have dogs, so. It's another one of these portals. I don't think I have. Yeah, I don't have any any saving anywhere. Moonlight Sonata. Wait a minute, is that Moonlight Sonata? Hold on. No. Sound of like it for a second. What is this room? I don't know. <laughs> you just end up in here. I don't know what it is or what it does. I don't know, folks. Um, give me some ammo. Yes. That's why I'm using my knife, but I'm not. More ammo. Oh, shotgun shells. Yes. Yes. I welcome that. What else we got here? Anything else? Nothing. Ammo. Yes. All right, we can get out here. There should be some zombies out, out this way. I think there's two. We'll just kneecap them. Now there is saving over here, which is good. This one there, but oh, there's two. Come on, man. Okay, so he doesn't want to go down. Whatever. Um, I think that they're saving here. So, yes, we will save. All right. Now, this is a rarity here. I'm doing a, a double thing. I'm going to jump into some Resident Evil 2. So, I'll be right back.